welcome to Sober Scene. Today we are doing a cocktail catch up. Long Island iced teas with a modern twist. And by modern twist, I mean we're at an Airbnb and I didn't buy all of the correct ingredients. So we're getting spicy with it. Yay. <laughs> all right, uh, today we have two guest stars. We have my favorite YouTuber, Takode. And, and then my my least favorite YouTuber, Psych. What's up, guys? How are you going? No, do I have to be here? It's like so overseen. There can't be any alcohol involved, right? Yeah, that's the whole point, right? Smack I hope that gets the meaning across. Yes. What Long Island's use are generally not a bit of normal rum but a bit of gin instead, a bit of tequila, a bit of white rum, a bit of vodka. Oh really? A bit of Contro. We don't have any Contro. Wait, literally like four or five spirits? Yes. Holy shit. Okay. So it's like the jack of all trades of cocktail, master of fuck eye. So okay. are we supposed to survive afterwards? Or is that optional? I'm gonna <laughs> ice the glasses. <laughs> like you ice a homeless man in GTA. So this is a lay cocktail, which means you don't make it with a shaker. You literally just Oh, pour it over it. ice. A what cocktail? Uh, layered cocktail. Oh, layered. Right. Layered. As opposed to... Put in the cocktail. comments if you know what an unlayered cocktail is. <laughs> I don't know fucking and shit. while you're at it, press that like button. Unusually, I didn't actually own cheap shit. I apologize to all of my fans who were here for Goon. <laughs> Oof. Are you gonna... Mate, it doesn't have to be in the glass. <laughs> Are you gonna get any of them in the glass or...? The glass is I, I just said it doesn't have to be in the glass yeah, and you still made the joke! <laughs> every every fucking bartender has heard that like once. Oh, you gonna get any in the fucking glass? Get any of them in the glass, yeah. Is it hot in here or is it just me? No, it's just this handsome man to my right. Is that something else you also hear when you're a bartender? <laughs> You've heard like, about my bumble? <laughs> do you, do you, Don't you fucking question me. <laughs> do you hear like guys randomly do shit pickup lines to other girls at the bar like is it hot in here is it just me have you ever heard of like shitty pickup lines second hand you get a lot of the fuck boy like oh, hey <laughs> what you drinking <laughs> okay and that's... then the best thing about them though is usually they're too cheap to actually afford a fucking drink for the girl. <laughs> so they so, ask like oh so what's, your, what's your favorite drink babe oh they, it's a long island i see literally oh, cool. and they're like oh Fuck, what you drinking? And they're like, margarita. And as soon as they process the fact it's not like a $6 two-e skewy, yeah. they're like, oh, so you want to go back to my place? <laughs> oh, Long Island, that's really cool. Uh, do you want to share a VB jug? <laughs> I've already got half of one. And so I've heard of an island. <laughs> um, right, next ingredient, Coke. Top this to full, there's no precise measurement. But where's the tea? There's no tea, so it's called a Long Island iced tea, tea. Because it's meant, supposedly, it's because it resembles tea. But it never fucking resembles tea. The one I had did. Right, so ordinarily here we'd add a nip of Contro. I don't have Contro. I don't have nips. <laughs> so instead, we're reinventing an old classic, which is just, we're gonna put fucking diet right in it. It's Oh hell yeah. We've got apple, strawberry, and guava. Sorry. Apple, strawberry, and guava are not even remotely close to orange, but you know. Oh, it adds natural aromas that really accentuate the flavors of the drink. Yeah, nice. A very simple last ingredient is a lime or lemon juice. It's not floating and it smells pretty terrible. Is that a Virginity! <laughs> hey! Virginity! <laughs> All I taste is cordial and coke, which means that the alcohol is hidden. That's not bad. Is that the objective, to not taste the alcohol? Well, the idea is to put as many booze as you can in it and not taste it. I don't know how it'll taste at the bottom of it. Were you Top adding pops? more vodka? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it was pretty weak. I thought you'd never ask. It's we here at Sober Scene um, are advocates of safe ingestion of alcohol. Do drug. No, don't don't do drugs. Stay in school. Okay, we're good now. Now we can do whatever the fuck. Uh, we're, yeah, we're in the right. clear. <laughs> All right. so, where's the weed? <laughs> you, have you, are you much of a goon connoisseur? No. You haven't had goon in your time? No. It's goon of fortune? You ever played that? You're not even Australian. Are we speaking English? I don't <laughs> know. What was that other Aussie thing you talked to me about? No, no, the the dance. The dance. The dance. Oh, the Eagle Rock. Do <laughs> The Eagle Rock. I'm so glad the camera can't see that. Can it not? No. Oh, <laughs> so 
So when we say rating, we just all 9,000 taste buds. <laughs> Pure vanilla. So we're just talking dates, we're talking effectiveness, we're talking um, availability, because it's kind of the whole point you said was just to mix whatever the fuck you have and try and make it work. Did you watch my last video? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Yeah? I don't think you've seen the credibility of my ranking scheme. <laughs> game reviewing channel. <laughs> you know, the graphics look pretty good. <laughs> so for that, I'm gonna have to give it like an 8. You give it an 8? Yeah. yeah. That's like an 8.5. Uh, but I like soury kind of. Oregon is good. Um, yeah, I'd probably give it like an 8.5. I think that's, that's so solid. nice. Something this strong as well. Mm. Alright, should we do some, some background context then? Some interview questions? So obviously, are we Sam... interviewing you? Or... Hey guys, how long have you this been doing this? This is Red Light District. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Seeing us here, that 200 ish subs, like 200. <laughs> Remember those days? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to hit 20. <laughs> be please be his 20th subscriber and his second Bumble match. Bumble match? Bumble match. That's <laughs> where he said Bumble. Please match me on Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, Sam, you, you obviously you work in a bit of a bottle shop. You're gluten free, so you've got a different experience with alcohol. Also, you're a six foot three fucking behemoth who can't get drunk, so. Okay, What's... I was wondering where we were going. <laughs> so I was gonna say. He's also a very strong man and he's excellent in bed. <laughs> that being said, what, what would be your, your favorite booze? Ooh. And what's your favorite experience you've had with drinking? Excellent question. Because I'm gluten free, beer's off, kind of off the table. In terms of like a sipping drink that you kind of just have with you and you sit leisurely. Cider's my, my, my guy. I fucking love soju because I can mm. drink soju as if it's a cider Yeah. and it's really strong. So that's going to get the job done as well. Uh, best experience. I feel like us, the, the normal circumstance with alcohol is asking someone's worst experience. So best experiences are the worst. Like I, I showed up from an Australia day with a baggie of puke. Oh and yeah. Dick face painted on my head that was painted <laughs> in with the Australian flag and I knocked on my door. My mum came and answered and I was like, I got a bag of puke. <laughs> and that was probably simultaneously like my worst and best experience of booze, so. Um, I, I have a lot of memories of getting drunk with my dad in a ski resort in Japan. I love drinking when it's really cold. Why are you looking at the camera? Having a dad, what a fucking nerd. <laughs> Fuck it <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Virginity and no dad. <laughs> the focus was less about the dad and more just, I like... Less about the dad. <laughs> That's right, he still doesn't have Don't it. Don't know whose dad it I'm was. I'm trying to detra <laughs> like, avoid the topic. Um, yeah, when it's like really cold and like icy air, and when I drink my face gets really hot, it just feels really like cozy and nice. And it like, they perfectly balance out each other. So my body temperature is boiling. And also, you're just in a fucking ski resort in Japan. It's great to just be drunk and be like, where the fuck am I, you know? In a ski resort in Japan. Yeah. That's not a hard question. No, but just... You fuck idiot. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask the better YouTuber. All right, Akash, my Ooh. favorite YouTuber. Um, favorite booze, favorite drinking experience. Uh, for a while, it was the, the, like the Smirnoff Black Ice. Oh, double black, oh, double black, double yeah. black. Yeah. Oh, that's a good shout. <laughs> I was introduced to this new, um, like vodka mix where it was like a vodka, uh, chocolate milkshake. Ooh. Like just a milkshake straight up. Like yeah. just chocolate milk. You're just drinking it. That but reminds it gets me of... fucked up. I probably down like 50 of those with like some Oreos. Like, oh, cookies nice. and, weed, cookies yeah. and cream. You can eat gluten. You guys can't fucking eat anything, you know? Why am I here? <laughs> Every time I feel sorry for myself and that I can't eat gluten, I think about Sean and I'm like, what? Some people have it worse. <laughs> Some people have it worse, yeah. We still got almond milk. <laughs> <laughs> we got almond milk and gluten free maple crunch. Suck on that. Right. Uh, favorite drinking experience? I really don't. I don't really have one. To yeah, be it's kind of a hard question. No. Uh, um, like, I imagine I probably had a favorite that wasn't the ski resort, but that's just what comes to mind when I think of a nice one. Why have you done uh, that? You fucking monster! What have you? Get a close did up you that? not see the reception from that on your last video? The solos. Oh yes, that is pristine. <laughs> this is my niche now. So <laughs> speaking of, we favorite. have to commit to it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't just do like a little bit. You did the fucking half a glass. <laughs> so other people know me. <laughs> favorite drinking experience. The only like funny one I can think of is like uh, the first time I went to uh, like your guys's. I guess place. 
uh, which one was that? We don't live together. No, in like the fucking like a party like your area together. Yeah. And I got oh. you got really drunk. I got so drunk that I started teleporting. Like what? All of a sudden, I was like in the house, and then I I have one drink, and then all of a sudden I'm in an Uber. I take another drink, you and Daniel are like dragging me through the, the hallway or something like at your house and then all of a sudden I'm in bed. Wait, so you're teleporting there and then or when you look back at it, it you remember it as if No, no, in the moment I was teleporting. What? Like I would just close my eyes open and then I'm You sure else. someone didn't like <laughs> put <it> something <laughs> in his dream? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So my favorite booze it probably varies. I like, I think Morgan's black is really good. <laughs> <laughs> no way, let me finish my story. Uh, Morgan Black is really nice. Morgan yeah, Black? That. Yeah. Who's that? that? Whoa! <laughs> this is my fucking second bit. I don't want to get cancer already. About no dads. Morgan Black. <laughs> Spice rum. It's just like very vanilla -y, So it's heavy in molasses. I'm not a fan of vanilla, personally. I just love how you don't have many options to eat and yet you still choose to be picky. It's alcohol. I have plenty of options except beer. You don't like capsicum. You don't like I, mushroom. No. I'm sorry. Uh, Maybe I do like Capsicum. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Jeez. Okay, the almond milk's gone. Now it's just... Oh my god, he killed it. Well... You know what? It wasn't that bad. No, cut. Okay, new no fake reaction now. Uh, 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 Alright, um, thanks for, for watching. Uh, uh, subscribe to, to Psych. Or uh, to Code. We like to drink with Taco, cause Taco is our mate. And when we drink with Taco, he gets it down in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thanks guys. Peer pressure. <laughs>